You've read about SQL and you've watched all the videos, but what you'd really like to do is do some practice. Now there's lots of great websites, some like W3Schools, where you can actually learn and practice as you go along. But what would be even nicer is if there was a playground for you to experiment with. Maybe you're using your own computer and you can't download SQL Server Management Studio's developer. Maybe you're using a work one which won't let you. Or maybe you're using a Mac. No, not that kind, the kind without cheese. That's it. Well, in this video, we're going to tell you all about SQL Fiddle. You've watched the videos. You've read the blogs. But now it's time to put your SQL knowledge into practice. There's nothing better than practice after all. So open up a browser and then type in SQL Fiddle. There are several different websites that you can try this out on, but the main one that I've been playing around with is SQL Fiddle, this top option, sqlfiddle.com. The first thing you're going to want to do when you come to this web page is use the drop down and switch to the type of SQL you're writing. In this case, we're writing MS SQL Server 2017. If you have create and insert statements pre written, you can always copy and paste them in here. If, however, you're writing from scratch, use text to DDL. Go to wherever your data is stored, in this case an Excel sheet, and copy all of the data, including the column headers. Paste your data in, and change your table name. Click on Append to DDL. If you would like another table, repeat, text to DDL, switch to your source, highlight all your data, including the headers, switch back, Overwrite the previous data, change your table name, and click on Append to DDL. Once you've added all the tables that you're interested in, click on Build Schema. If you wanted to add another table after you've built the schema, simply repeat those steps and then rebuild the schema. Over on the right hand side now, you can treat this like you would with any other SQL. Select if you want to add comments forward slash asterisk, double hyphen doesn't work here. Now sadly there is no IntelliSense, so I could just write my column header straight away. It's not gonna make a massive amount of difference, but old habits die hard. Write your from clause first. You can select the table you're interested in, and if you want to, you can even give them aliases. Return up to your select statement. And then select the column you're interested in. If I want to connect to other tables, I can do so. And then add the data into my select statement. You can use different types of functions, such as your aggregates. Remember to give your expressions, aliases, or your columns in the output window won't have a title. If you add, want to add in filters such as the WHERE clause, you could do so. In this case, I want all of the families that have the letter A in them. Since I'm using an aggregate function, I will need the GROUP BY clause for all my non-aggregates. And if I want to filter using my aggregate function, I'll need that having clause. Finally, if I want to rearrange my data, I can add in the order by clause.
When you're ready to test your code, click on Run SQL. And there you have it, your output. If you wanted to pass this to a colleague, simply copy the URL or choose Link to create a link that you can share with them. This is all free, however, they do suggest a donation of $5 to keep things running for such a great service. To go along with this, we have a free SQL course you can check out on YouTube or at www.yzl.co.uk. And I've also written a set of exercises just for use on SQL Fiddle. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.